Hello everyone. Today we are going to listen to class 10 physical science. Our first lesson is reflection of light by different surfaces. So if you look in the heading, we have reflection of light by different surfaces. That means we should know what are all the different surfaces. One is a plane surface and the other one is the spherical surface. Now, I have an example to show you. This is a plane surface, which also we call it as a plane mirror. About this plane mirror and the reflection on this plane mirror, we have learnt it in our lower classes. So, I am just going to explain to you what is the concept of reflection on a plane surface or a plane mirror. Let me take you to the concept. Now, if I talk about or if I consider this to be the plane surface, which is or the plane mirror, which is usually drawn like this. The shaded part is the painted region and the other portion is the reflecting surface. Let me consider a light ray falling on this plane surface and it is touching the surface at a point O. Let me say AO to be the incident ray. And if I draw a perpendicular to that plane surface, this NO is called as normal. And the angle formed between the incident ray and the normal is called as angle of incidence, which I can write it as angle. A O N which is equal to angle I otherwise I can also call it as angle of incidence fine. Now what will happen to this incident ray after touching this reflecting surface at the point of incidence it will get back or bounce back to its original medium. Now OB represents the reflected ray and the angle formed between NO and OB or normal and the reflected ray angle NOB is called as angle of reflection and it is denoted with the letter angle R, this angle. Now what we should know is angle I will be equal to angle R, otherwise I can say angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So you have learned it in your lower classes, the, the laws of reflection as angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection, that is our first law. And the second law is the incident ray, the normal and the reflected ray, all these will form or they will lie on the same thing. All these laws are applicable for the plane surface which I showed you in the plane mirror it is applicable. Now, what will happen to this reflection concept in the case of spectral surface? Now, to learn about the spectral surface, we should know spectral surfaces are also called as Curved surfaces. Spherical surfaces are also called as curved surfaces. Now, I will show you the two different surfaces with me. If you look at the two objects in my hand, I have a mirror like this, in which this is the reflecting surface and this is the painted or the shaded region. Now, if you notice, the reflecting surface is curved inside. Such a mirror is called as concave mirror. So, curved surfaces are classified into two types. 
One is a concave surface or a concave mirror and the other one is the convex surface or the convex mirror. Now let me show you the convex mirror also. Both I have concave and convex. In concave, the reflecting surface is curved inside whereas in a convex mirror, the reflecting surface is bulge outside. So based on this, we classify the spherical mirrors or the curved surfaces into two types, namely concave and convex mirror. Now we are going to see what will happen to this reflection concept for these curved surfaces. To understand this, we need to know some of the facts. Here it is in the case 
rays of concave the rays or the normals they converge there is in the case of convex they all diverge now let me go with another one small activity in which we are going to explain what we have to do to get parallel beam of light rays let us assume that we take a piece of thermocol or a small block of thermocol like this and let me place two pins on that in such a way that the two pins are parallel to one another now you have to keep a source of light just behind it source of light here is my candle now when the source of light is kept behind that object and when the light ray falls on this pin obviously we will be able to see the shadows of these two pins but how do the shadows will be the shadows will be diverged from one another these two lines represent the shadows of these two pins because of this light of source of light now the same activity what are we supposed to do is now just try to keep the object little now let this be our thermocol and these two are the pins now i am going to keep the source of light little away than in the first case that means my candle or the source of light this little away from this object now look at the distance can you observe the distance here the distance between the source of light and the object is this much. now i have increased the distance from the source of light and the object now to our surprise what do we notice is now the shadows of these two things will be parallel this represents the this and this both represents the shadows now i want you people to observe the shadows here the shadows are the two pins are away from one another or they are diverged whereas in this case we see the parallel beam of light rays so what is our conclusion if we want to get the parallel beam of light rays the source of light should be far away from the object and the intensity of the object also should be more thank you